Why hasn't there been an FBI raid on Biden over the classified document uh, scandal? Now, the obvious answer to that might seem to be, well, the DOJ is under the Biden White House. They're part of the executive branch. Uh, they're not going to raid Biden for the same reason that you're not going to have a mafia consigliere raiding the home of his boss. But um, the DOJ is charged with um, enforcing the law and the normal procedure with classified documents. Let's remember, with the classified documents, the premise is that these are top secret that only people with clearance should have access to these documents. Ordinary people, lay people, if you will, uh, people who, are, who don't have um, high-level clearance shouldn't be rummaging through these documents, reading what they say, uh, maybe taking photos of them with your phone, none of that. And, and that's been the FBI's approach with the Trump documents, that even though the FBI told um, Trump and the people at Mar-a-Lago put an added padlock uh, on the storage room where those documents supposedly were, the FBI goes ahead and raids anyway. Uh, and in fact, they raid in such a manner that they, they push aside the Trump lawyers. They say, listen, leave us to do our job. We're not telling you what documents we're taking, at least not right now. We'll make an inventory and give it to you later. Now, contrast all this with the treatment of the Biden people. Because what's going on with Biden is, well, let's call it a self-investigation. Uh, Biden's own lawyers are looking for the documents. Now, you can say at the beginning when they didn't know there were documents, so a Biden lawyer finds a document or someone finds it, turns it over to Biden's lawyers, and then the FBI moves in and goes, listen, back off. This is sort of a crime scene. We're now going to be collecting data. We're now going to be uh, looking for the documents. You stay out of it. But no, apparently there's an agreement uh, between the, the um, Biden's lawyers, uh, personal lawyers, and the DOJ and the FBI, and the agreement says that the Biden lawyers will continue the search for these documents. So these are people with no security clearance looking for classified material. And, um, and there's a, and, and the FBI has agreed they're going to be hands off and the DOJ is hands off. And basically the Biden lawyers will notify them if they find documents. Now again, uh, what is the reason for Biden doing it this way? Well, the answer is really pretty obvious. And by the way, this approach of self-investigation, in other words, we're going to let you discover uh, if you've got any sort of contraband, and then you turn it over to us in good faith. Well, this was, remember, the FBI's approach with Hillary Clinton's emails. Uh, they wouldn't grab her uh, computer and say, look, we're you, you step out of it. We're going to find your emails and we're going to keep them. We're not going to let you go ahead and delete emails, turn over the ones you feel like turning over. So it's the same deal. And in both cases, what you have is, well, special treatment for the Democrats. The Democrats are allowed to be their own sleuths in trying to ferret out any kind of potentially wrongful conduct that they have committed. Now, there's also a legal reason, a legal benefit that is being given to Biden. And that is, think of it, if your own lawyers are digging up stuff and they come and tell you about it, you're protected by attorney-client privilege, which is not the case if the police come in, if the FBI comes in and they go, hey, what's this? Well, then there's no attorney-client privilege involved. So Biden is given the privilege uh, of being able to control uh, what in legal terms is called discovery. And, and I, so we don't just mean the, um, quote, discovery of the documents, but the discovery in the sense here that this is the uh, information that is pertinent to a potential crime that could be alleged against, against Joe Biden. Now, um, um, no one has ever explained why these Biden lawyers were looking for classified documents in the first place. Uh, did somebody else initially spot these documents, which means that they would have presumably read them? Who are those people? Who found those documents? Let's remember documents have been found now in multiple places. Did the Joe Biden lawyers uh, uncover the subsequent documents? 
Um, and uh, so all of this remains, again, shrouded in mystery. Um, the other thing that's a little bit strange is that there's now a special counsel. So you would think at this point, the special counsel would step in, the Biden lawyers would back off, the special counsel would take over the, um, the, the search for further classified documents, but it seems that to date that has not yet happened. I also see a report that so far, so far, the Biden administration has offered no response, which is to say no cooperation yet with the House Oversight Committee, which has bombarded the White House with demands and requests and letters uh, that uh, that that information be provided about all the details of this particular scandal. I, I'm not saying the Biden people will not have to provide those responses, but to date they haven't. And so if you if you compare the Trump raid with the Biden, let's call it non raid, it becomes further uh, a troubling uh, demonstration that there are two standards of justice in this country and they fall along strictly ideological lines.